mate, I'm, I'm buzzing with it. Yeah, I'm buzzing with it. Uh, you know, oh, I hate Australia, man. I hate Australia. <laughs> I may be disappointing, oh, but like... <laughs> yeah, how do you feel? I don't know, I wasn't expecting much, but... That was pretty bad though, considering what you everything. Wasn't battering like that. No, nah, not really. Like the second half, like no one showed up really. Yeah. They, even the second half, like all the first half. Singing hymns and arias. This is beautiful. Land of my fathers, Arivero. We just started off on the wrong foot. I reckon we gotta like rethink everything. Everything. Everything, grassroots, yeah, get better players. Like if rugby league didn't exist in Australia, like yeah. could be a bit biased, but we'd be best in the world. But you, this this was an attempt to revive rugby union in Australia. Was it was it a failure attempt? Would you say? I'd say it's on the reverse, like of what they're wanting to do. In that, like what would be suck? Like they can't even get through to. A, it's frustrating as because they used to be shit, yeah. and now they're even worse. Even so mine. it's hard watch, it's hard time being a Wallaby supporter, mate. <laughs> the blur, I love the blur, I love the blur. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, we don't beat, we don't beat anyone 46, let alone Australia. <laughs> Argentina, we're coming, we're coming. It's hard been to every single one of the group stage games, yeah. and that was the most nervous I've ever been before, during. But how the hell do Wales play better against Australia than we did against Portugal? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think Eddie Jones has a very clear idea of what he wants to do. It's going to take years to actually pull it off. Yeah. Tonight was a shit fight. Sorry if I swore. No, I did. Um, but you got to take that. I never liked Eddie Jones, and I like him even less after that. How was that today for you, lad? Uh, that was very tough. I trusted Eddie, and Eddie just, he wasn't there tonight. Just didn't bring it through for the team. It is a big tool. We sucked tonight. We didn't do it. Is this is this the downfall of rugby union in Australia? Never. It's just a minor stop back. Yeah. That's just that. Yeah, it's a young squad. To be fair, it's a young squad. Carter Golden is gonna get even better. He's gonna start kicking to the post good. We're gonna do it in four years. Trust us. Four years. Four years. World Cup at home. We're gonna win it. Trust us. He's cut so many people. There's so much young blood in there. And when we played Fiji, we looked young. Yeah. We looked like a youthful team. Tonight we looked like a team that was trying their best to keep up. But we didn't look young. Just fallen short. Yeah, absolutely. And we fell short. We did. Yeah, you're confident going into bigger teams, aren't you? Yeah. Um, but are we at the level of South Africa? Are we at the level of New Zealand? Or I don't think so. Well, on, well, you know, six months ago you were, you were all over the place, let's say. I feel, like, I feel like Australia in the same position we were last year, yeah. two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously Gatlin's a fucking a, a genius. Um, and I feel sorry for the Aussies because they're in a, that transition period. Yeah. But yeah, we're out of that now. Um, Good things to come. I, I don't think we've got, I don't think you can shoot for the stars, right? but I feel like quarterfinals, semifinals, I think yeah. it's good to go. Easy win against Argentina or Japan, and then you're... Yeah, but don't underestimate them. Like, uh, like Fiji and Portugal, they've actually given us a challenge. Pick off. Yeah. Is, is Eddie still going to be here? Is he still going to be in the squad? I don't think so. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Good thing with friends. friends. I mean, you have, to, uh, you, have, you have to ask, where was Michael Hooper? Yeah. Where, where are all these guys? Eddie Jones left a, he left a half his all his best players back in Australia. This, Where were they? Uh, is this all Eddie's fault? Huh? Is this Eddie to blame? Are we? Are we blaming yeah, well, yeah, do we do we, did we put our best foot forward? Did we really put our best team forward? You know, where where were you, you? You know, you know what I'm saying. Where was Michael Hooper? Where was Clive Cooper? To be fair, there are really cheap flights going back to Sydney tonight. <laughs> <laughs> is, Eddie, is Eddie going? Eddie uh, Eddie's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie's got to go. It, it, we've, we've lost to everybody. I mean, like, it, like Dave Rennie lost because... Eight out of nine. Dave, Dave Rennie got sacked because we, we lost to Italy. You know? And then, and then since then, Eddie's lost to... We've lost to bloody everybody. Did, did Rennie deserve to lose his job though? I don't think so. Yeah. No, no I don't, I, he was building something. He was getting I some momentum. So. I mean, he, he had some very. We had a couple of games with New Zealand that yeah, we should have won, frankly. 
uh, with Dave Rennie in charge. And he lost his job because of the game against Italy. But then, and then against Fiji. Do we, do we blame then who's making these decisions then? Who brings it, gets rid of Dave Rennie? Who brings in Eddie Jones? It's, it's hard, isn't it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let's get some names. No, okay. It's been quite positive from you. Yeah. I quite like the positivity. Uh, I'm, an, any, I'm an optimist if I'm anything, you know? Yeah. Any, any last words? Imagine Eddie Jones is looking on the other side of that camera. Faith in him. Oh, please don't kick him out. Give him a, give him a chance. Just give him a chance to do something more than what he's done because there is so much coming. You know, uh, every tsunami is still just a selection of pieces of water from all over the place, right? It's going to take a bit. It's an accumulation. It's a building up. It's something that grows in mass until you can't stop it, until New Zealand can't stop it, until whales can't stop it, until no one can stop it, all right? Let it happen. Let him work. Let the man cook. Warren Gatlin kind of just came in to fix up the ship and everything. Does he, he, does he stay now? Is there somebody in mind you might want to keep around? I think um, with Gatlin, I'd, like, I'd love to keep Gatlin. Like, I wouldn't, I would, I'd, like, I'd never want to lose him. He's an absolute saint. But in terms of uh, when he goes, I don't see who or what steps in you saw yeah. when the two managers came on the, the screen tonight mm -hmm. the response that Gatlin got yeah. I think he's the most liked manager in international rugby in all the way are you gonna try and make it to the final or is my, it my birthday is on 20th October which is the final yeah. I'm 50 oh it's good luck good luck it's all destiny in the stars you're gonna make it into the quarterfinals into the knockouts how do you do after that like, uh, this is it. Look, look. We, we know what we want. This is a third place playoff against England. We we know what we want, right? If Argentina quarters, that's a team. That is a game that Wales can win. Yeah. If uh, you know, if England comes second, then also England's a game you can win. Yeah. You get into that situation. Uh, Semi final is probably Ireland the All Blacks again. If it's Ireland, it's definitely a game Wales can win. If it's the All Blacks, it's a game that Wales cannot win. Wales never beat the All Blacks. Yeah. That is the law. It is the law of time. Whatever it is. And in such situations, you get either get a third place playoff against that. And look, it's the draw, is the draw. It is what it is. You get on with it, and you take what you can with it. And like, this is a fantastic win for Wales tonight. And it was, it was, it was comfortable, wasn't it? Lots of change, lots of change for them. Would you think he's going to stay, or is it going to be our uh, get him out as quickly as possible? Eddie. Yeah. It's embarrassing that. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough performance. He said, like, uh, don't like to compare uh, rugby with football, but Premier League managers get sacks after the they're not even allowed to do that after game team so yeah. that was embarrassing that the Australians are a bloody good sides and like they've, they've got immense quality but they who did they leave out they left out Quay Cooper and uh, oh, Michael Hooper come on like experience in the team immense players and you leave them out yeah nah they're, they're characters in the dressing room as well aren't they yeah. Does does Warren stay after the World Cup? Oh yeah. Going, yeah, yeah, he's got nowhere to go, is he? You like as long as he's happy. If he wants to get another role and bring other coaches in, that's his thing. But Warren Gatland is a fantastic coach. He is probably the best coach in the world right now. And really? that is what you see. You take a group of players that lost against Georgia, lost against uh, Italy, and you put bloody forty points on Australia. That's how you turn it around. Yeah, yeah. What are the, what are the things to come? Obviously, uh, you've clearly got an optimistic future for Wales. Any. Any expectations as you go into Six Nations? Third place finish in the World Cup. Surely there's going to be standard setting there. If Wales get a third place uh, finish in the World Cup, it is definitely bottom Six Nations. That's that's <laughs> Welsh rugby. That's the way it goes. But no, you know Warren Gatlin is great. He knows what to do. He makes yeah. not just in international rugby, in club rugby. He knows how to make the most of what you've got. He knows what it takes to get those players to that top level. Yeah. He's done it here. He's done it with Wasps. He'll do it again. Six Nations, I'm really excited. Let's see how it goes. But right now, let's see where we can go in this World Cup. This could be fantastic. There are some great teams, Ireland, Scotland, uh, France, you know, are the standouts at the moment. And, you know, no one's talking about New Zealand. Like, let's see where it goes. But this is a fantastic tournament. I can't, see where, I can't, can't wait to see Wales go.